They say if they say if we'll only avoid void any confrontation with the enemy. Hey guys, Connor here from CRPK Gaming. And uh, today I'm going to be recording a video that I've wanted to record for quite some time. Uh, it's going to be in the beneath the game mode of the game Paint the Town Red. And if you don't know what that is, it is a rogue-like dungeon crawler, which if you don't know what that is, is basically a randomly generated dungeon uh, with, you know, bosses and all that good stuff. We're just going to jump right into it. New game. Here we go. UHDF, Frontline Facility, 093. 600 meters below sea level. It's pretty down there. You could say we're, uh... Beneath. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> yes, this is the facility. Uh, there's, it's a, it's a very detailed facility, actually. I am the, uh, rank, uh, ensign. Uh, there's not much I can really do with this access level. That's nothing yet, and this is the classroom. Now, there are four classes we can choose from the time being. There is Brawler, which is, like, move slow, hit hard. There's Warlock, who is regular speed, but, uh, you're, you know, you're a little bit magic. Uh, Spectre, which is the one I'm going to be using. Uh, Basically, the idea is you can move very fast. Uh, now, the original idea of this class is to get from point A to point B and just kind of skip over everything, but I don't actually use it for that, and I'll show you what I use it for in a second. Uh, this is Vanguard. I never play as him because he sucks. And, uh, here we go. And now, let us enter the Beneath. Thank you. Down we go. Page one. All right. If I remember correctly, there are three caves until I get to, you know, the next thing. Something here needs help. Well, then I suppose we should help it. Here's a weapon. Uh, we get one free item at the beginning, which is uh, wealth. Enemies dropped 1.5 gold, which uh, is used to buy items and health and stuff and shops and that things. And there's our first kill of the series. There it is. Oh, there you are. There we go. Uh, yeah, so I can either give this guy gold or my blood, but I'm going to choose gold. What the zone? Five percent chance to create a little zone that increases our attack speed. You know what? Oh, that's five percent chance. That was extremely unlikely. I'd say that's uh, you know a one in fiftieth chance even. You know, never mind. Uh, oh, that is your brain. Baseball bat. I'll take that instead of the uh, thing. So, I don't really use... Oh, jeez. Crystal crabs, crystal crabs, crystal crabs. They shoot lasers. And their weak spot is the legs. Uh-oh. The weak spot is the legs. Because uh, obviously the rest of them is just made of stone. And a very weak shield. Wow, well, really really getting up there with the weapons. Is that green I see? Is that a shop? Please be a shop. Yes. This is a shop. Thank you, old dude. Um, where you can buy health and spend energy, and what is this? <gasps> Va gain health on kills. Oh, that is a really good and rare item, but I don't have enough gold. No! <gasps> I gotta, like, keep track of this and come back here. Okay, okay. Um... Oh, that can spawn the Pursuer, which I don't want to do, because if you touch him, you die. Uh, and that's Guiding Light, which leads you to the exit. But I need to get 500 gold so I can get Vampire, because that that item is ridiculously overpowered. 
Um, I saw some guys this way, I think. Okay, I'm gonna remember how to get there. There's a room, so there's gonna be there's bound to be a lot of them. So I just gotta come back when I have 500 gold. Give me your gold. Oh yes, yes. Ah, that's so lucky. Okay, goblins have a ton of gold and stuff and energy, so I'm just gonna oh jeez, you out real quick. Starting over, I guess. Well, that's really, really unlikely. But I'll take it. Look at that. I have a really good feeling about this run. Alright, let's go. You, any of you guys alive? No. Zombie. Human. Like, why would you do this? You are a human. I swear to God, these cultists. Yeet! Oh, that would have been way cooler if we killed someone. And a better shield. Look at that. And I didn't get it at the time. It's fine. Oh, and I... Ah, uh, I forgot I had the pickaxe. Man. That's, that's whatever, it's fine. Ooh. Give me something good, like a yes, like a katana. And chant that. Look at that, man. Already on a roll. And, ooh. Uh, I don't need either of those because I'm just so amazing at this game. Hey, do you play Minecraft? How good it is. Especially because you can find it super early. Yes, the sight. That means I can see doodads through walls. Well, what's the word I'm thinking of? Enemies. I can see enemies through walls. to join the party. That was a mistake. Soinks. Hip. Alrighty. See you in caves too. Alright. Oh, already knee deep in action. And blood. Something here needs help. Yeah, me. Bonk! Ooh, gun. Are weaker when charging up, just 
Not when they ram into you before you can do anything like that. But last game. And I'm gonna... Whoop. Ow! Come on. Uh, my... <laughs> Boom! The apostate has been free. Yes. Go, my prostate. I have enraged the Shard Lords. Which, those are like mini bosses. You are better than a pickaxe. Too hot, bud. Hey, 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 no need for that. Ooh, hey, 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 what's your problem? Hey, seriously, jeez. Get your eyes checked. Look like. No, 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 I'm not done with you. Oh, we have beef now. We have beef now. I wish I could punch. I wish I could punch. Anyways, this room is now open. And the, the the prostate that we freed, uh, we can use something called shards to get like permanent upgrades, but like super good permanent upgrades. Um, but we haven't killed any shard lords yet, which is how we get those. I guess there's not much else to do. But uh, in the episode here, so. Uh, Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm probably going to make another one. I'm definitely going to make another one. Uh, but for now, this is this is goodbye. See you in the next. Is one. anyone there?